Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube. Today I am going to show you how to install LAMP in Ubuntu. To install LAMP, let me show you about these basics needs you need to have. So let us show this. I will install LAMP server with Apache, MySQL and PHP. These three, three packages I will install in Ubuntu and it is here it is lamp what is lamp it is lamp is a combination of operating systems open source sacks and lamp is discovered this so is derived from the first letter of linux apache http server mysql database and mysql database all these are the programming and uh, about this apache first of all what is apache it means it's open source multi-platform that's provide full range of web server graphical secure socket layer and virtual domains and you can see on the screen this is the website http dot this is the website of apache and this first to run this i am going to log in with the root so here is my linux mint uh, that is ubuntu so i will go into login with the root just type su upon and type password for the root and here i will log in with the root so I will log in with the root, typing su, press enter, 1, 2, 3, password and here is you can see the red color, I have logged in with the uh, my root and here I will show you about this installation of Apache. Now we will need to update this uh, Ubuntu response uh, respiratory by giving this uh, command like sudo apt have an update and apt have an upgrade so that it will upgrade our respiratory and ubuntu package so i will type update for this sudo apt hyphen get update and upgrade It's updating the packages and the respiratory. Before installation, it's very important to have update or respiratory and packages. Though it has been updated, my respiratory and Ubuntu. Let me get next step. And um, this is going to install Apache. To install type apt have and get install Apache. See, I am going to type sudo apt hyphen get install apache. So, after typing, just press enter, it will install these uh, Apache and you need to type yes for installation. What the Apache will use some space also as you can see on the screen uh, i'm showing the first packet first package uh, that is apache as you can see on screen uh, it was not upgraded so i have manually type sudo apt have an upgrade so it was upgrading my you can uh, type uh, uh, separate uh, upgrade and update also it's not a problem and you can see this is upgrading now apache has been installed we check whether apache has been installed or not by typing in our browser um, there is these are two methods we can test for apache is working or not localhost or your ip address we'll test it now for how it's working or not see here is my browser so i'm typing here local host and pressing it up as you can see this is the apache 2 ubuntu default page is working and it has been such, uh, showing this page is working i will install and let us go for the is over uh, so i will type ip address also to verify whether apache is working or not so i will type 192.168.0.52 that is my uh, system ip address as you can see this is also working same it's working showing let us go for next step after verification of this we will install mysql and this is my about mysql def, uh, definition what is mysql 
It's a relation database management that runs on server providing uh, multi users or number two number of database through SQL like probably that embed and this is the website as you can see and we'll install about to so install just type through the apt install mysql server and mysql board client or else uh, you can install server net library apache modules authentication php file mysql whether you can type first one or second one let, let i will mean, install first one step so let me show you so as you can see on the screen uh, this is the installation of mysql server library apache authentication mysql class this will command i will put in um, after typing just press enter and uh, as you can uh, uh, this command you know not to worry about this typing without saying as will be available on description just press enter and will be have uh, updating so that has been installed and next we will go check whether uh, mysql server is running or not uh, to run or not just type sudo services mysql stages after typing the sample output will, will come like this first of processing and show uh, let us sh show you how to run this uh, command and here is to check whether our mysql is running or not just type sudo uh, services mysql and type status to check whether it is going to type data and here you can see start and running process id showing and we will uh, go to the next process about the installation so after typing we will go to next installation that is installation of php and we will check how it is shown this is the what is php uh, this requires hypertext widely used general purpose scripting language uh, used for develop purpose web pages and used into embedded into html and this is the website of the php myherping.net and let us install how about to install that apt install php file php from mysql library apache module this is the modules dependence will install along with php let us install about <coughs> i will install uh, php uh, just type sudo apt hyphen get install and php file uh, there you type file and space give a space and type lib library here you get apache 2 and just give a hyphen you type your minus qn and type php 5 after typing this one so after typing this one uh, command you have to uh, press uh, enter just enter and it will install the depend dependency along with that one so this one i have already been after typing this one also command we'll check whether uh, our php might be working or not we need to create a sample test php dot file so that we'll check when in the browser by typing and we need to add these files this greater than question mark into that one by creating so we'll create we'll open this uh, sudo nano and where www.html that in that one we'll create a test file and we'll add this one file in that one so that we'll check whether it is working on so we'll make a test file just type sudo nano and we have where slash www slash html slash uh, we'll type test uh, php php dot php and press enter and just will it put a program small and type php info and we'll have so that we'll test this one just save this file and just will check whether it's working or not we'll check the next one so after adding this one just not seen and we'll restart so that we'll check it is working on and we'll restart this one by typing uh, sudo service or uh, live it type apache restart so, we need to 
type to here restart as you can see and it is restarting and this has been restart and we will go to this our next step so whether you can type sudo survey apache restart or you can type slash in dot yes sudo both uh, anyone you can type and we will go for the next step and this is for test purpose we can use by typing the IP address and you can by typing the IP address you will get this option of IP address and the test folder name what we have created the test page and if you want to check whether the modules are working or not let me show you the first one so we will check our test file we have created and by typing IP address on local host you can also type and uh, so that that is working or not just type uh, 192.168 uh, your system IP address laptop or whatever is using and just give a slash and test php the, the file which are created and we check so we will check uh, about working or not test page just open this one browser and we will type uh, localhost or ip address and then we will check test php press enter and it's showing you this is, this is our installation is working fine and then back to this our next page. If you want to install this modules of PHP, just type super apt install PHP star so that it will install uh, all the modules of PHP. Regarding with that, uh, if you want to have after that, you can restart. So, we we'll install all modules, just type sudo apt hyphen get install PHP star press enter. This already has been installed. As you can see, all this package has been installed. We go now. We we'll install my PHP admin, and this is the definition of it. And this is the installation file. How to install? I will install it. Okay, I will install it by tapping sudo apt hyphen get php my admin. As you can see on screen, they are showing me to run PHP. We have two options by selecting Apache or uh, two only. Just press tab and uh, to select, press spacebar to select and just tab, press and press OK. So, while installation, it will ask to select uh, Apache or selected and during the installations, it will be. Uh, ask to put the uh, config common you need to select you need to accept the password after that after that you can see how to access this by typing IP address and PHP my handle that will show you how to enter. so here you can see you need to press enter as per discussed in my notepad and you have to tie your password by giving the assign the password Press tab, okay, and uh, about this type again the password. It will have confirm password. My scale and address. Creating our database first time. Reloading Apache. We have set the password for PHP MyAdmin and my scale password also both. Uh, now we will test it about uh, as a database. I will open the that one and will type this. Uh, uh, IP address 192.168.0.52 my system page slash and we'll type here php my admin press enter as you can see on screens these are welcome to the my php cam by default username will be root and the password which you have given the second time and third time repeated just type this password and you will be logging it here as as you can see on the screen i have been logging into the so php myodin database 
and if you want to create database by clicking on this one database as you can create database now uh, here is there by typing your name like you can give test and you can click on create so after by typing see database has been created as you can see here is there if you want to check about sql uh, command as this here is the run query is there if you want to run query just select star from whether you want to grab and click on go so it will show you about database stretches here stretches is there user data export is there and this is what and here is my logger is there uh, yeah. if you want to logger this this one is a logger second this one page and have the logger as you can see this is the language you can change if you want to select english other language and here is my root and password which i have already shown you about this how to set the password first time we have set about um, php my bill second also also said we have set my skill and this is the my skill we have been logging it and let me go to the so after uh, confirming uh, my php has been installed we'll go to the next step and this is the how to change your root uh, mysql password if you forget if you want if you do not uh, and you want to change the password means uh, just go to this uh, command by typing sudo mysql install into sudo source slash bin source secure uh, by typing this one command we can reset this uh, root password also and let me show you about this so we'll reset the root path uh, root pass mysql root password if you forget about logging the drivers we'll check how it is or uh, let me show you about this one like this one if you forget this password login into the my php admin and you want to uh, reset uh, you want to change the password means uh, just open this terminal and you need to type uh, or like uh, this sudo slash user slash bin mysql secure installation after typing and uh, here you can see current uh, enter the current password for root uh, if you have uh, set means password in type if you have none means you can set which i have already set so you can see and here you can see change the root password if you want to press y and you can go ahead by typing f c i have changed my root password this is the anonymous links so i am going to press yes and here is uh, this allow remote login yes and this is my database access to yes just go on to the typing yes yes on it and here is the completed the setting settings and we'll check whether with the new password I was been logging. As you can see, I have changed my password and I have been logging. And is my uh, we go to the next step about. And you can see this this is the remote is there. And uh, see after typing this command, you will be asking like these steps. And just selecting yes yes to everyone. And this is your and this is the end of land installation and thank you for watching my video thank you for watching my cloud network and i